BF Day proudly presents Mr. M's Math Games and Math Breakthroughs. Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Mr. M's Math Games and Math Breakthroughs. It's been a while since I've seen you since the last uh, two times we had Wednesday we were able to play those virtual games which was really fun. So we're definitely going to keep doing that but we're going to come back to our math games episodes. And so today we're going to learn a one of my favorite math games. It's called Moolah on My Mind. So fifth graders, those of you who had me last year, I'm sure you remember this game from fourth grade. So it is a fourth grade game. And so I'm actually going to play this game on my own first. And then we're going to have a special guest. One of my Another college friend of mine is actually going to play against me. And I'm going to teach you how to play this uh, with two people. Because uh, you will eventually play this with a partner. Um... At some point so uh, there is a one player version and a two player version for this game and then I'm going to introduce a brand new assignment um, it's actually not going to be a Khan Academy or not a math breakthrough um, but you're actually going to create an estimation 180 um, on your own and so I'm going to go over that uh, later today but I'm pretty excited uh, to kind of go over that uh, assignment with you because I think you guys are going to be really really awesome about creating estimation 180s but there's going to be some clear directions on that so you'll see that later today but first off um, I'm going to show you how to play Moolah on my mind um, uh, as a one player game and then um, you'll get a chance to pause the video play on your own and then um, you'll see the two player version so um, I'll see you in a bit all right everybody <clears throat> so we are going to play Moolah on my mind and so um, as you can see here is the PowerPoint of the game and in this PowerPoint there is a one player version and a two player version. Um, I'm going to play the first uh, the one player version right now and then after this um, you'll see me play um, a two player version with a friend of mine. So for the one player version and I know a lot of you will be playing this version you're trying to get as close to six dollars without going over after 10 turns and so you're going to get three dice. And I have uh, shared this role, um, this Google Doc, I mean, sorry, this Google uh, website, which is Dice Roller. And you're going to need one sided, uh, one four sided die and then two six sided dice. So I'm going to click on that twice. So that's how that works. And the dice will come up there. And so um, on your turn, you can either uh, add the two numbers that you got, you can subtract the two numbers that you got, or you can multiply the two six-sided dice that you got, and then multiply it by the four-sided die. So the four-sided die is either gives you here, if you roll a one, that's pennies, if you roll a two, that's nickels, if you roll a three, that's dimes, and if you roll a four, that's quarters. So I'm just going to get started here uh, so that you can see what that looks like when you play by yourself. And so let's begin. For my first roll, let's roll. I got a two, a five, and a two. So I can either add these together, multiply them, or um, subtract them. So I'm gonna actually multiply them. So that's five times two. So I'm gonna delete, actually delete all of this. So I'm gonna do five times two, um, and then times, and I got a, let me double check here, I got a two, which means nickel, so that's times five. So five times two is 10, 10 times five is I got 50 cents in that round. And so, so far I have 50 cents. All right, next turn, here we go, roll again. Got a five, a three, and a two. Hmm. I'm gonna multiply them again, five times three, times two, which was a nickel, which that's another five. So five times three is 15, 15 times five. Ooh, let's see, 10 times five is 50, five times five is 25, 50 plus 25 is 75, so that's 75 cents. And so, so far I have a dollar and 25 cents, which is the total of how much money I got. Um, all right. Let's keep going. Remember, I try to, I'm trying to get $6 without going over. It's close to $6 after 10 turns. All right, here we go. A three, a one, and a two. Hmm. I'm going to add these up. Three plus one. And then I got a two, which is nickels. So I got another five. So three plus one is five, is four. Three plus one is four. Four times five is 20. So that's 20 cents. And so I'm a, a dollar and 40 five cents. Still not good enough. Okay, I'm trying to get a six. All right, let's see here. Come on, give me four. Three, four, two, and a three. 
a four. So I'm gonna do four times two um, and then uh, times, and then I got a three, which means dime. So that's times 10 cents. So four times two is eight, eight times 10 is 80 cents. That's pretty good. That's, that is pretty good. Um, so, my bad, that's 80 cents. So $1.45 plus 80 cents, that would be $2.25. That's pretty good. Um, but I still got one, two, three, four, five, six more rounds. Um, ooh, maybe I need to slow down a little bit here. I don't wanna pass. Okay, we got six, three, and a one. Ooh, that's not very good. Um, let's do six, let's do six plus three. Six plus three times one, which is just one penny. So that's nine cents. And so $2.25 plus nine cents would be $2.34. So not very good. All right, let's roll again. Ooh, we got another one. Um, you know what? Let's just add them together. Four plus six, four plus six. Ooh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna change my mind. Let's do four times, let's do four times six. Ooh, four times six times one, which is just 24 cents. And so now I'm at $2.58. Oof, that's not very good. Come on, give me, give me something other than one. Four, ooh, yes. Five and three. Okay, so I'm gonna do five, ooh, five plus three times 25, which is, uh, I got a four in this, in this four-sided dice, which gives me 25 cents. So eight times 25 is $2. So now I'm at $4.58. That is pretty good. Um, I didn't want to do five times three because that would be 15 and 15 times 25. That would be, let's see, 25. That would be a lot. That would be too much. Um, and so I didn't, I didn't want to do that. Uh, cause I, I felt like it would be too much. So I think that's the right call. I think that's the right call to not have done five times three. That's 15 times 25, um, which would be kind of too much. Um, yeah, that'd be 250 plus something else. So uh, 350, I think it'd be 350. So um, yeah, I'm not sure if I wanted that. Okay, next roll. Got a four, three, and a four. Hmm. Ooh, a four, three, and a four. Ooh. Ooh, I think I'm gonna add them. Four plus three times four, which is 25 cents, that's a four. Um, so that's seven times 25. Uh, so that's a dollar 75. And so $4.28, and I'm gonna do this in my notebook here just to make sure, plus a dollar 75 is, So oh, no, six dollars, six dollars and thirty-three cents. Uh, I went over, so I failed. That's the second time I think I failed. So if you pass uh, six dollars, then the game is over. You're trying to land, you try not to pass six. So um, what do you think I could have done uh, to not have gotten that? Um, I probably should have subtracted. I could have done uh, three minus or four minus three and gotten one twenty-five, and then it would have been just twenty-five cents. That, that would have kept me running. Um, I, I think I got too greedy. I got too greedy with some of these here. Um, so yeah, that threw me off. Man, four dollars and seventy-four dollars fifty-eight plus a dollar seventy-five. Um, you can double check my math here. Yep, six dollars thirty-three cents. That's too much. All right. Um, well, that's uh, what I got. So not that great. So uh, right now you're going to see uh, me playing against um, my friend, but pause the video and play the game now and see if you can do better than I did um, for that game. And then the instructions are in Schoology. And then when you're done playing, watch the rest of the video so you can see how to play with two players because we will play this game with partners. And then um, stay right till the end because you're going to be introduced to a, the estimation when 80 um, assignment, which I'm really excited about. So um, I'll see you in a bit. Good luck playing. Bye-bye.
All right, everybody. So you just saw me play Moolah on my mind on my own. And now we're going to play a two version uh, a version, the two player version with my good friend here, Eric uh, Carter, um, who I actually live with. Um, and he lived with me first, actually, when he when you came to Seattle. Um, yeah. And then we kind of switched places and I lived with him. So <laughs> we have spent a lot of time together and Eric is really awesome. So um, thanks for, for doing this, Eric. No problem. Um, I wanted to kind of, you can let the kids know, what, what, are you, what are you doing? What do you do? Yeah, so I am a virtual reality designer. So I make virtual reality games. Uh, I've worked on a bunch of different games pretty much my whole career. I worked on Destiny for a while, different games like Firefall, I've worked on Star Trek games. Uh, and basically I use a whole bunch of math in my day um, to, to make video games work. And so this seems like a thing. I think I have a pretty good chance of beating you today. Oh, we'll see. The math teacher <laughs> against the programmer, right? Or the designer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we are going to get started here. So, uh, oh, geez, for that. okay, here we go. So, uh, for the two player version, everybody, what it's going to, how that's going to look like is that I'm going to go first and I'm going to roll the two dice, the two six sided dice, and then the four sided dice will tell me um, which, what I got, either penny, nickel, dime, or a quarter. And so we have that here on the side. And so I'm gonna bring over this, and I'm gonna roll the dice, and let's see what I got. I got a two and a one, so that is a three, which is not the best, but I'm gonna write that here in the parentheses. Sure, if it will let me. I don't know. There we go. Ooh. This is a little bit of a two plus one. And the third dice was a two. So I'm gonna multiply that by a nickel. And so then let's see, that gives me two plus one is three. Three times five is 15 cents. And let me just make an adjustment here. Um, and so, I got 15 cents so far. So now it is your turn, Eric. Awesome. So you can tell me when to roll the dice and I'll roll it for you. I don't, I'm gonna roll my own dice, man. Oh, you have your own? Yeah, I have my own dice. I'm gonna roll my own dice. All right, oh, well, there you go, <laughs> <Do it. laughs> I got, I got a five and a one. Okay. And my four-sided dice was a four, so a quarter. Oh. I feel like I'm off to a pretty good start here. That is I already, I already broke a dollar again. <laughs> so what is your total amount so far? Uh, so I have, basically I have five plus one. Oh, I did the math wrong. I screwed up the rules already. I have I have dollar 50. I thought I had dollar 25. <laughs> but I have five plus one is six quarters. Six quarters is a dollar 50. Man. I have 10 times more money than you have. You right do now. have 10 times. I more told money. you I was going to be good at this game. <laughs> You're so good. All right, my turn. Let's see. I got a six and a one and a four. Oh, oh, oh. See, look at that. Six. Pennies. That's penny. <laughs> uh, so let's see. I got a seven. Yeah, that's a four. And a quarter times 25 cents. So that's seven times 25. I know that four times 25 is a dollar plus three more quarters is a dollar. 75. And so a dollar 75 plus 15 is a dollar 90. So I'm catching up there. Pretty good roll. It's a pretty good roll. All right, your turn. Uh, I'm going to roll a five plus a three. So that's eight. I rolled a two. So it's only nickels. So I got five times, five times eight. Which um, is... And so, wait, let me look at this table. So pennies were, didn't you roll a one? No, I rolled a four. Oh, you rolled a four. I thought you rolled a one. That's yeah. a six plus one. Six plus one. Oh, right. I was reading my dice are in a different order than yours. That's why I got confused. I thought I was doing so good on the last turn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah, now I see you're going to give me a run for my money. So you're <laughs> at 40 cents? Yes, 40 cents. Which so I'm at $1.90. 
Ooh, we tied oh, it up. Yeah, uh, you can't count me out. Oh goodness, you got two cocky. My goodness. <laughs> See, I read your dice wrong, and so I thought when you rolled those pennies, I was going to be oh. set. But but now that now that I got the where the five was, <laughs> the four was. All up. right, my my turn. Let's see here. <laughs> I got a four and a six and a four. That oh no, that's pretty good. Four plus six times a four, which is a quarter. So that is 10 times 25. So that's $2.50 oh, to my boy. already total, which is, which would be $4.40. So that's a pretty good roll there. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Let's see. I got a four and a two and a one. Ooh. That's only six cents. Dollar <laughs> ninety six. I'm falling behind. <laughs> that was that was a devastating turn for me. That was Maldonado. <laughs> well, let's hope that I don't get a one. Let's see. All right, here we go. Three, five, and three. Right so that's a five and a, it's a five and a three. Five plus three times a three, which is a dime. So that's times ten. So five plus three is eight. Eight times ten is eighty cents. So I'll take that. And that is five dollars and twenty cents total so far. All right, your turn. Okay, I rolled a five and a one and another penny. Ooh, it's no good. <laughs> it's another another six cents. I did it again. <laughs> At least I broke two dollars this That's time. That's true. That is two dollars and two cents. <laughs> Bonus points for palindrome. Oh man, two yeah, palindrome. That's good. Uh, <laughs> all right, my turn for uh, for a turn. Let's see. Ooh, four, a one. There we go. Four. That's oh, pretty good. How are you getting so many quarters? <laughs> you haven't gotten a single penny yet. I know. I've been lucky. It's oh, uh, yes. you know, I feel like. Oh, come on, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a different four sided die that gives me <laughs> some more quarters here. See, five times twenty five would be a dollar twenty five. And that's would be six dollars and forty five cents. So just just so you know, I did beat the my other friend as well. So oh, this would this be a big rigged. deal if you beat me. It's gotta be rigged. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Okay though, my new my new four sided die is treating me better. I got okay, a quarter got? this time. So I okay. got a six plus a one. Gives me seven. Seven quarters. Eight quarters is two dollars. So one quarter less is a dollar seventy five. It's pretty good. So now you have how much money? Three dollars and seventy-seven cents. Ooh, three dollars. Ooh, I gave you too much. I, take that. I, I still take almost have twice as much as you, though. <laughs> yeah, it's not going so well. But this is my comeback. This is where it, where it turns, right? See, there's your penny. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. I have. No, I read your my right. Oh, I have It throws me off because right, here we go. I'm gonna roll okay. it in front of you. Here we go. Come on, come on, pennies. Two two twos. I'll take I'll take nickels. That's pretty good. Two two times a nickel, which is five cents. So that's four times five, which is twenty cents. I'll take twenty cents. So that's six dollars and all right, what, sixty-five cents. Come on, I need my I need my new dice to roll me another quarter. Ah, ah, this I'm gonna throw this dice away to it. It's roll me another penny. But I got two fours, All so right. that's pretty solid. So I'll take 16 pennies. It's better than six pennies. Well, wouldn't that be eight pennies? Because four plus four is eight? Yeah, it is. You're a lot better at math than I am, Mr. Malmato. <laughs> so you're at $2. <laughs> and I, put the, I put the fours on the other side of the multiplication. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, I wish I could just arrange the numbers wherever I want. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here we go. A two, four, and a three. A two times, oh, sorry, two plus four times three, which is a dime times 10. Dime. So that's Sense. six times 10, which is 60 cents. So I'll take 60 cents for sure. And that is $7.25. I'm, I'm, I'm running out of space. I got to start making it up right now. I got. I got a two, so I'm on a nickel. I got a four and a five. So that's nine nickels. Let's see, 10 nickels is 
50 cents. Nine nickels is 45 cents. Sounds good. Oh, that's I pretty like good. doing those little reverse tricks, right? Yeah, I love those. I love those strategies. It's great. 10 times five is a lot easier than nine times five. And then I just subtract a nickel. Nice. So, $4 yeah, and so four dollars and what was that? Four dollars and thirty yeah. cents. That sounds about and right. We're catching up. Still catching pretty up. far behind. I need some more of those quarters. All right, here we I'm go. go. I'm gonna get a new four-sided die. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Might work better for me. Two, three, and one. Ah, all right. Three plus one times two, which is a nickel, five cents. Not the best. I'll take it. Um, that's another twenty cents. And so now I'm at seven dollars and forty-five cents. Right, okay, here it goes. Come on, new dice. Oh, gave me a three. That's a dime. I'm happy with a dime. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got a four and a three, so seventy. Seven times ten is seventy cents. That puts me at an even five dollars. Hey, that's cut. You're catching up. There's some there. I am. All right, yeah. second to last turn here. Uh, I got a two, two, and a two, 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 one, and a two. Ugh, that's not the best. I'm like w letting you catch up to me here. Times five. That's three times five. That's fifteen cents. And I am now at seven dollars and sixty cents. Okay. I need a quarter and a couple sixes. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's it. I got another nickel, but. I got my two sixes that time. Ooh. Times five. So that would be how much? Uh, six plus six is 12 times five. 72? No, that's times six. Yeah. 60. 60 cents. So you're at $5.60. Hey, $2 so it's off. $2 behind. All right, last so turn here for behind. me. Um, All right, I gotta, I gotta get a, get a, give me a four here. Give me four. I haven't gotten a four in a while. Oh yes. <laughs> ah. Six plus one. I gotta get like a perfect roll to catch up with you. Times twenty-five. So that would be seven. Seven times twenty-five is a dollar seventy-five. And so a dollar seventy-five plus seven sixty. That would be nine dollars and fifteen cents. It's my total. It's pretty the, good. The tension's killing me, man. Right here. Can I <laughs> can I make it up? I, I think if I don't roll a quarter. I think I'm, you have to get uh, what? Like six plus six times four times a quarter? Times a quarter. I think that's the only thing that'll do it for me. So let's see what happens. Ah, ah, it's so close. I got my quarter. Oh. Then I, but then I got a six plus three. Oh, uh, man. So uh, nine, nine quarters. So nine quarters would be how much? Two dollars and twenty-five cents. It's not. It's not good enough. Not Seven dollars and Seven dollars and eighty-five cents. Five cents to my nine dollars and fifteen cents. So well, that's good. Good run. He's still two games for Mr. Maldonado. One against his friends. So <laughs> you got Mula on your mind. I got Mula on my mind. <laughs> well, thanks for that's playing. Well. I yeah, good game, that. good game. <laughs> All right, hi everybody. I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, play Moolah on my mind with uh, on my own and also with a friend of mine. So we're going to move into the next part, which is the estimation 180 assignment. So I'm going to share my screen here. And All right, here we go. Um, so um, Estimation 180 was created by a middle school teacher named Andrew Stadel, and he is super, super awesome. And uh, he was trying to come up with a way to try to get um, uh, middle school uh, students more engaged in the math and ha help them to think about how do I, what does math actually mean in the real world? And so I'm sure that you've seen a lot of them this year, and uh, I hope that you've been enjoying them. So you're gonna get a chance right now, um, soon, to create your own estimation 180 problem. And fifth graders, we've done this in the past where you created them yourself and then I would show them for the class. And so that's, that's what we're gonna do as well. I'm gonna take all of your estimations and we're gonna use them in our class uh, moving forward. 
This is due on Friday, December 18th, which is about three weeks from now. So it's the last day before we go off for winter break, which is plenty of time for you to do this. And I know that some of you are so excited about this that you'd, be, you'd wanna create more than one. So everyone must create at least one estimation, but if you wanna make more, you totally, totally can. So just be aware of that. So I'm actually gonna show you some examples of some estimation 180s that I've gotten in the past to kind of get you started on thinking about how this might actually look like. So here's our first example. This is uh, created by a student. And you can see here, there's a picture of a puzzle that's not quite finished, which I thought was really unique. And it's, his question was about how many puzzle pieces are in the puzzle. And so um, that's a really good estimation. And here's another picture of another student about how many pieces of fruit are there in the bowl? Very simple question right there. Um, about how many stuffies are in the picture? Here's another one, it's a pretty good one. Um, this one was really good and I showed this one because he, this student gave me three different pictures. And so sometimes you might wanna show the three different pictures and you can see that he put his hand on one of them. So you can kind of see how big it is. Um, and then you can see different angles. So sometimes you might show me more than one picture. So his question was about how many Legos um, in the helicopter set. Um, this one was created by a uh, current fifth grader. This is by Boris. And the question was about how many spins does Boris do on his bike? And as you can see, the other ones were pictures. This one, it was actually a video. So I'm gonna show you that video now. So really cool estimation. And then this other one um, is another estimation that was created by Molly, who is also a current fifth grader, which, and she actually made a stop motion video. And her estimation was about how many still frames did it take to make the film? And I'm gonna show you here a little bit. Really awesome. So that was her um, assignment or her, her estimation 180, which is really cool. A really, really unique uh, question. So think about what question you want to ask. Um, will your estimation 180 be a video or will it be an image? So that's, that's a good thing to think about. Um, make sure to include the answer so we know what the answer is, right? So sometimes, I think last year I forgot to make that a requirement. And so uh, students would just kind of give me a random um, picture without an answer. So make sure that you include the answer for me. Um, you can just tell the answer um, with just a, with the a, um, assignment or you can make a video answer like Mr. Sadell does sometimes. Um, you can also um, make sure to tell me why you picked this question. What, what made you think about this one? You can give me any reason you want. And then how do you think other students will solve this problem? So I'm actually gonna bring over this um, sh uh, sheet here, because you're gonna, when you create your estimation, you're also gonna um, submit this form. And this is also um, due on December 18th. So you're gonna write a video or image description. So what is your image uh, about? And then you'll write your question down below. And I included some examples here for you to kind of see what it should look like. You'll tell us the answer here. You'll tell us the mathematical purpose, which is why did you pick this question out of all questions? And then you're gonna think, how might students solve this problem? Like how would how would they figure out how your estimate, what your what the answer to your estimation is, right? You don't we don't want to stump students. We want your classmates to be able to think about this. So I want you to think, is this even possible for students to do? Can they figure this out? So that's um, that's that. And so again, uh, this is uh, due on December 18th. You are going to email this to me, um, the completed form and your picture or your video to my email address. And my email address is right here. I will also put that on Schoology so you can see it. But again, you have until December 18th. So you have plenty of time to work on this assignment. So um, good luck. 
And if you want to get started now, you totally can. I'm excited to see everything that you have. Um, so I will see you later. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.